It's really familial amyloidotic polyneuropathy was the name given to this because the principal uh, feature of the disease clinically is neuropathy. However, we now know that this systemic form of amyloidosis not only gives peripheral neuropathy, uh, but in most patients actually causes cardiomyopathy as well, where the amyloid protein is deposited in the heart, causes what is called a restrictive cardiomyopathy with low cardiac filling and low output, and patients very often die of congestive heart failure. So uh, the better name for it now is transthyretin amyloidosis, or ATTR as we call it. Transthyretin was originally named prealbumin because the protein travels ahead of albumin in the electrophoresis. But uh, that name has been displaced by a, probably a better name, transthyretin, which means it transports thyroid hormone and retinal binding protein vitamin A. And those are the two functions of this blood uh, protein. Uh, in humans. Some species don't have the same function, but uh, these are the functions in the human. It's probably not a serum protein that we need. We have mice that we uh, have what is called knockout. They do not have transthyretin, and they seem to do quite well. They have babies, have more mice, and uh, don't seem to have a shortened lifespan. So if we get rid of this protein in humans, it is uh, hypothesized that we will not do any great harm. With familial amyloid polyneuro uh, amyloidotic polyneuropathy or transthyretin amyloidosis, the pathology is that the <coughs> mutant transthyretin, which has a genetically inherited mutation in the gene, um, causes an abnormal protein which deposits in the tissues, either the nerves, the heart, or other systemic organs, and causes the pathology by displacement of normal structures. Uh, the disease in humans uh, is usually relatively insidious, then slowly progresses for uh, 5, 10, 15 years, and as I said, death is very often from cardi cardiac failure. This is an adult onset disease. Uh, usually uh, patients are uh, over 50 years of age, very often between 50 and 60 years of age before they develop significant neuropathy or cardiomyopathy. I have seen uh, patients who have developed the, the condition in their uh, teenage years and may be dead in their 20s. Uh, the most common variant of transthyretin amyloidosis occurs uh, in northern Portugal and in Japan uh, where onset is in the low 30s and patients are often dead by age 40. <clears throat> in the United States uh, most of the transthyretin mutation patients uh, present somewhat later and uh, have a 10 to 15 year uh, life expectancy.